Almost every football fan has Luton Town getting relegated from the Premier League. But we're gonna go into bat for Luton. As we are taking over the Hatters and keeping them up in the Premier League and turning them into Europe's greatest side. EAFC24 is here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Luton Town career mode. So here is the default side we have with Luton Town as we take over as manager. Yeah, we've got some work to do. But the new game is here, new menus, new era of EAFC content. And this year, you can give yourself an orange suit. So you guys know I had to do it. So this year, one of the big new features to EAFC is tactical vision. Right now, we're on standard. You can change it to wing play, ticket. Tiki-taka, Gengen press and park in the bus, counter-attack. There's a whole heap that you can go through. I'm going to keep it standard at the moment, but adjust it as we go. Coach management as well. It's going to take me a minute to learn how to do all this, but this could be a huge advantage. So to get them up, you can either transfer a coach from another department or hire from a new coach. Oh, damn. Okay. Look at this expert here, Nathan Lawson. That is random. I know a guy called Nathan Lawson. But £10,000 weekly salary, and we have a budget of £380,000. That is awesome. Yeah, I mean, I've got to hire this Nathan Lawson guy straight away. Look at that. We already achieved plus five. Okay, so he's an expert in terms of the standard tactics. All right, I'm not going to hire anybody else until we figure out our for like who we want to go for in terms of tactics. But not only do we have a pretty mediocre side, we don't have much money to use at all to keep us up in the Premier League. 20 million pounds. That is a far cry from some of the heavyweights in the Premier League. We're going to have to be really cutthroat with who we sign and who we sell. Okay, so because we're playing balanced it gives us recommended formations that's that's a nice touch i feel like people that know a lot about real world football and really focus on the tactical aspect this year will be a beast at career mode so i have changed this to a 4-2-3-1 formation i really want to use ross barkley nikamba and sambi lakonga as our midfield anchors i want to have teeth chong in there the big improvements I think we need to make this season, we need an out-and-out -out left midfielder. We need some more stability and quality in the back line. Maybe even need a new striker. Time's going to tell. But lads, if you are excited for EAFC and this career mode, make sure you scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. We're on the final push towards 500,000 subscribers, so help us get there. And if you subscribe, it is the best way to ensure you're kept up to date with every upload of this series. And as we know, there are new training plans plans here in EAFC 24, a new screen and everything. As we can see here, they've got training plans for all types of scenarios. So you're really going to have to put your manager cap on this year. This is what I've been crying out for for years. I actually feel like I'm a manager. If we've got a massive game coming up, we need to make sure we go all out performance. And then if you're going to be sitting through the international break, you want to go all out energy and make sure that you're getting the fitness up. This is all. Yeah, I like this. Once again, though, keeping it balanced. First transfer offer of the year comes through. It's for Dan Potts, somebody that I do have on the transfer list. Philadelphia offer £870,000. And we are going to accept that offer. It looks like Dan Potts could be the first man out of the club. Another man that I have on the transfer list. We've got an excess of talent at the left back role. So we need the money in. We're going to accept £1.6 million here for Amari Bell from Leicester City. And the transfer talks for Dan Potts have broken down. Meanwhile, we get a new offer in here for Amari Bell. It's £100,000 more from Bazikstas. I'm cool with that. And there it is, lads. The first man leaving the club here is going to be Amari Bell. I'm assuming he went to Leicester City. Yeah, he goes to Leicester City. I'm not going to lie, lads. I've only transfer listed a couple players. Maybe EASC fixed it where we actually get offers for players we transfer list. Luke Berry to West Brom. Another transfer I am happy to accept. So when I was planning for this series, I didn't know exactly how much money I would have or what the value of players would be. I've gone a little overboard with the type of players I thought we could sign. Kevin Danso's valued at 27 million. You've got Medina who's valued at 24.9. We need efficient transfers that are going to keep us up this year. The superstars will come, but for right now, the only goal is staying up in the Premier League. Now, Ange Postacoglu wants Eric Dyer out of the club. We're going to talk to my fellow Australian and see if we can stri strike up a deal here for the out of favor center half. He only has 12 months remaining on his contract, so we might be able to get him on the cheap here. Come on, Ange, do me a favor. 6.2 million pounds, they say 6'6", but I reckon we can get them back down to 6'2 here. Come on, Ange, come on, big Ange. 
You beautiful man. Give him to us. He says 6.2. It looks like Dyer could be our first signing at Luton Town. Since it is a new game, I just want to do a couple manual transfers. Normally, I delegate, but I want to see if anything's changed this year in terms of negotiations because I don't want it falling apart. So obviously, he's going to be a crucial first team player in the back line here. He's got Premier League experience and he'll become our highest rated player. Going to try signing him on a three-year deal here, which he also accepts. So far, so good. No release clause, but he's asking for a lot of money in terms of bonuses. I'm going to remove that bonus. I'll let him keep the signing one. £38,000 a week in wages is what they initially asked for. It's a pay cut for him. And they're going to accept it. We're not going to be able to make the glamorous signings like the Manchester Cities, even the Brightons of the world. But our first signing as Luton Town Manager. What is that kit? Oh no, the game's already bugged. But we've signed Eric Dyer here from Tottenham. There it is. At least we've got the orange kit in this cutscene. There you go. He gets the number three jersey. Eric Dyer is a Luton Town player. I know Anderson is currently their top goal scorer in the Premier League, but Dyer, he's taken his spot. He literally, I know we don't play ultimate team, but Dyer becomes the first gold player in this squad. That is wild. Okay, that's interesting. Required quality updated. The required quality for some departments was updated. Because we sign a higher rated defender, our defense requirement goes up from 16 to 18. That is... That's something we've got to learn really well. Like, that's something we've got to keep an eye on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire... We've got eight open positions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hire another expert that is in the defensive skills department, Toby Jordan. So his weekly wage is £8,700, which is fine by me. We're going to hire him. Okay, so we'd have to hire another scout to get it up to the next section. All right. I think it's best for us to hire experts like Shane Gillies here that are five stars across the boards, pay a little bit more, but have the base in every section looking good, you know? So we're going to hire Gillies there. Although I'm curious, when I went to sign him, why Lawson and Jordan both moved into that section? I'm sure we will learn this as we go on. Second player has left the club though. Luke Berry heading back down to the championship, signing on with West Bromwich Albion. And we get another club coming in here for Dan Potts. It is Basiksha in the Turkish League. We're going to accept that one. And there we go. Dan Potts, he's officially out of the club off to the Turkish League. Interesting. We get our pre-season invite on the 15th of the month here rather than when we initially start the season, which I don't know if that makes a big difference, but I find it curious that that's one of the things they decided to move. You know, I think I've realized why that's a, that's a brown, like a bronze for Gillies and Jordan. It's because they're not balanced coaches. Because you go back to the tactical vision, you have the attack in expert, the other two midfield and defense novice. But then if you go across here, park the bus, we've got golds there. So I've made a little bit of a hiring mistake. Expected with a whole new system. The first transfer offer has come in for a player that I don't have on the transfer list. And that is Elijah at a bio. But I'm going to reject this one. I want to give him an opportunity to cement the starting striker role. I think for the first half of the season, there are so many strikers in this squad that I'm willing to play around and find who suits our play style the most if nobody gels and if nobody can bag goals for us then I'm happy to go look on the transfer market but for right now in the striker position I want to keep with the players that we have so it's only a preseason friendly but we have our first match day here I want to play around and see what this is so you can either kick off straight away you can do the pre-match report on the opposition or you can do a training session complete a training drill to earn a temporary play style for participating participating players okay so I can go in and do all of these manual that's a nice little nice little touch here now this is the screen that we all know and remember can either play the match can do the tactic the new tactical view that's right sim match quick sim uh, attacking highlights right now though because it's only a preseason friendly i'm gonna a quick sim it but in the future tactical view would be cool man in fact let's go check it out why not new cutscenes as well oh I'm so, i love the start of a new game the new era baby you love to see it this is this is the stuff that gets me going honestly Playing at Juventus's home stadium here against a good side in Werder Bremen. There we go. I can look around. Can I? Okay, I can't move the camera myself. This is automatic, but this is really neat, man. And then I can change it to this view as well, which is really cool as well. So we can see it unfold. This could be good for like rebuilds and simulations. But to be fair, in this career mode, I want to play most of the games. But yeah, we switch back to manager view. Oh, it's awesome. And I do have the option to jump in as well. I can jump to sim or I can sim to the end. I'm just going to sim to the end for this one, but I just wanted to check that out. And we ended up getting a 2-1 win with Woodrow 
our makeshift left midfielder bag in a brace. Assistant manager comes to us, changing the focus of Lockyer's training plan might really, God, this is taking a while, be worthwhile. So the assistant manager thinks we should change his training plan from balance to performance. I mean, I'm not going to say no when I'm still learning the game. So we'll change it to performance focus. That might be the shout when we're in season for a lot of players. We do have our starting youth academy here though with Luton Town. And to be honest, all of these guys look like absolute stinkers. So they're all getting released. My God, that is not a good omen. Transfer offer here for Carlton Morris from Brentford. But again, he's another one of those strikers that I want to keep and just experiment with at the start of the season. So maybe in January, I'd accept this offer. But right now, we're keeping the 2.6 million pounds and keeping Carlton Morris. Ahead of our first Premier League game, though, I have changed the starting 11 a little bit. Giles is going to go to left midfield and Dodie is going to go to left back. But ultimately, I want Giles to be our starting left back. So I'm not going to go through this for every single game, but I thought it'd be interesting to check out before our opening game. It does say this would be Brighton's probable lineup and their tactical vision is a, gang a Gangan press. I like that how they have a full breakdown of both defensive style and offensive style. I'm definitely going to read those off screen. But here we go, ladies and and gentlemen, it is time for our first game of EAFC 24 and our first game as Luton Town Manager. I am so excited to take control of this team and for the heroes and storylines that are about to unfold. EAFC 24, here we go. Played on the left-hand side here, Doherty. Just bolstering down here, trying to put a good ball in. We get the ball in, it's out of bio! Oh, we've missed it! Oh, that would have been a dream start. Not gonna lie, the Brighton defenders have been sagging off us terribly, but that was a golden opportunity to make it 1 0. Free kick here for Brighton. They're gonna put that one into the box, get it away. They get the header! What is that? Lewis Dunk has given Brighton the lead. That is a cheap goal to concede. Who got out jumped there? That is disgraceful. And the keeper, Kaminsky, what are you doing? Doherty, we're doing a great job down the left hand side here. Good ball in there. It's out of bio. That's a good touch. He's going to put it across. It's not the ball we wanted, but it's going to work out anyways. It is Chong scoring our first goal as Luton Town Gaffer. I changed the camera angle and it works wonders for us. That was a great goal. Quick one, two here. We're doing great by exploiting the wings. It's a great ball there from Marvelous Nakamba to Chong. Chong with already a goal to his name. He's going to belt that one across there, but puts way too much on that. Out of bio. Oh, it's fallen to him. Fortunately, I should have hit it earlier. It falls to us anyway, and we can't get anything on it. I know it's only a small thing, but we have a new halftime screen as well, which I'm a fan of. It's a change from the norm. Defend it, lads. Do not let him get the lead early, and they'll take the lead again. Matoma, we're trying to defend. Estupanan, they're passing us to death. Rafa Mir, that is a weak shot. Unfortunately, it's a weak shot. They're playing. The, the, the tactical analysis wasn't wrong. This Genghis press is killing us, man, but we're surviving so far. Might even be able to use it to our advantage here. We've been demolishing him down the left-hand side here. It's Adebayo. Oh, what a save from Steele. That should have been the lead. So he's Chong. He's onside. Chong, square it back. Barkley. Oh, my God. How have we missed that? How? Have we missed that with Ross Barkley? We should be scoring that every day of the week. Misses like that are what gets you relegated. My God. It's the 89th minute. Please, no EA scripting in my first game of EAFC. It gets in the box. Where's the marking? It's saved. What a heroic save from Kaminsky. Oh my God. Kaminsky with a heroic save on Ansu Fati there to rescue the points in the opening game of the season. What an up and down game. We could have won that, we could have lost that, but ultimately I'll take a point. Because let's face the facts, one point in one game is more than Luton have in real life right now. New cutscenes as well post game. This is a, oh, I like this. This is, this is getting me going lads. A player that I really want to sign at the left midfield position is Jota. He's currently playing at Al Itihad, but he is on the outers there. And we know, we know just how good he can be from his time at Celtic. His market value is 18 million pounds with a offer of around 21.4 being acceptable. But we need to raise more money, lads. Our current budget is just 15 million pounds. Still got a few players on the transfer list. Let's hope we can get some offers in for them. Another offer in here for Adebayo, rejecting that one again straight away. Whilst we wait and try to sell some more players, we have our first home game here at Kenilworth Road as we're taking on Burnley. 
Vincent Company, you see that? Game recognizes game, baby. Burnley have come out of the gates firing. They've gone, what the fuck was that? Oh my God. Burnley have come out of the gates and hit an absolute missile after five minutes at Kenilworth Road. Oh my God. I'm doing it. I mean, I gave him a little space, but not that much. That is found the side netting. That is a rocket. How the hell am I meant to stop that? Oh, I thought we got a good tackle in there, but now we've got, we're outnumbered and Burnley have punished us. Those are the things we need to cut out of our game. Burnley, they have our number right now. This is a real welcome to the Premier League experience. Giles, Giles, that's great from him. Doherty, gonna go back there to the left back. This is great passing play. Can we get a goal back? No, we can't. Come on, lads, we're kind of settled into this game now. The, the jitters died down a little bit. We need to do something here. Kabore is a real option down this right-hand side. He's gonna cross that one to the back post, but we can't get our noggin onto it. They're crushing us, man. Crushing us. Oh, are you serious? What am I witnessing? Nah, that's bullshit. Are you serious? You guys have not just witnessed what I've witnessed. Kaminsky at the near post. Nah, 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 look at this. No, are you? This game already has me molding. There is no way that I've just conceded that in the first hour and a half of me owning this game. We are three nil down. Three nil down because of that. Oh, Kaminsky, Kaminsky. Oh my goodness gracious me, that is bad. Can we rally back here in the second half? This is not good. They feed it through, they get the shot off, they put it over and that is full time. Definitely a humbling experience there against Burnley as we go down 3-0. Transfer offer here for Jordan Clark. It's 1.75 million pounds. Let's go bump it up and see if we can get that extra quarter of a million pounds and say two. Normally I wouldn't be too pressed on that, but when we're trying to scrape every possible penny together to try pu pushing in for Jota, we need to do that and Leicester City accept two mil. Another club coming in here for Jordan Clark. It's Celtic. Let's go see if we can get 2.1. I mean, we've got to. If we've already got two million accepted they're gonna have to pay a nice fee here let's go 2.2 i'm feeling i'm feeling greedy lads and they accept it brendan rogers accepts it now i'm hoping he goes to celtic 2.6 million pound offer here for osho i'm open to selling him let's go see if we can get mon more money though all right i'm gonna say 2.9 here see if we can send him to club bruges and get one step closer they say 2.75 all right we'll accept that one Carabao Cup time though, lads. Let's see if we can get ourselves back to winning ways here against Cheltenham. We've got a penalty here. Ross Barkley, the man to take it. New penalty system, it looks like this year. Let's see if we can make it count. Barkley, I'm gonna go to the right-hand side here and he puts it into the back of the net. Ross Barkley scoring his first goal for the season. In behind, it's Chong. He's got them done for pace. Tahith Chong beats the goalkeeper at the near post. I'm starting to notice an early pattern this year with some shoddy goalkeeping at the near post from both the computer and the user. We might have to abuse that. And there it is, lads. We're onto the next round of the Carabao Cup after beating Cheltenham 2-0. Look at that new post-match cutscene as well in the sheds. The lads are happy. £450,000 transfer offer here for James Shea. He's our third string goalkeeper. Should we say, yeah, we'll still sell him. I mean, it doesn't feel right because he's been there a minute, but we're gonna sell him. Celtic couldn't pull through for us, lads. So instead we accept the two million pounds here for Jordan Clark. AZ Alkmaar have come in for the form of Fulham striker, Corley Woodrow. He's, we could get up to 1.5 million. Now I don't want this goalkeeper, although he does look like a decent prospect. I just want the cash. So we're gonna see if we can get 1.6 million pounds here for Corley Woodrow and AZ Alkmaar are going to accept that one. You bloody beauty. Between these three players leaving, we might be close to Jota or at least having the money to go in for Jota. All right, lads, I've changed our tactical vision. We've got a big game coming up here. And after just absolutely getting thumped by Burnley. We're gonna go to park the bus. We've got the midfield and defensive experts for it. So we're gonna give that a go. And we're gonna have to be on our best performances here as we take on a fellow relegation battler in Chelsea. Why do I feel like that comment's gonna come back to haunt me? Chong, can we get something early here? Putting it back out there to him. Tahith Chong, 
Looking for the right ball in the middle. It's going to fall. Oh, corner. Corner. Come on, Giles. Put this one on a platter. Give us an early goal here. It's Chong. Oh, what a save, Sanchez. I should have taken a touch. What a save from Robert Sanchez. Chelsea playing down the wing. Gusto. We need to defend the man. They've got players everywhere. And that's a goal there for Chelsea. The passing play is just so hard to stop. We're playing the park the bus. We're trying to bring Lakonga and Nakamba back, but it always just feels like they're pushing too many players forward. Oh, and we've got early, early goal to concede is not great. Cliff Jackson with the long shot there. Good save from Tim Krul. Okay, no. Get the block in. It's 2 0. That is not the start we needed for the second half, lads. Caicedo doubles Chelsea's lead. Big teams on FIFA this year, a team just so clinical on finishing. Oh, defend it, lads. Jackson, this is terrible defense and terrible goalkeeping. Oh, my God. We, again, are getting humbled here in the second half, and it just shows how much of an uphill battle we're going to face if we want to survive in the Premier League this season. These teams, even Chelsea, are just so much better than us, man. And I'm starting to realize the teams in FIFA this year are just so damn clinical. It is insane. Just destroying us right now, lads. I've sagged off him and it's 4-0. It is 4-0. I cannot defend. I suck at defending already this year. Fellow relegation battler in Chelsea. Oh, it's fallen right back to them. What is this defending, lads? It's 5-0. I hated how we lose the ball and our defenders just start running back. That immediately makes it so much harder for us to close them down. I don't want us to play a Genghis press, but man, when they got the ball there, we started running backwards instead of putting the pressure. It's so annoying. Like, what's Lockyer doing there? Before I'm even controlling him, he starts running backwards. And there it is. The referee blows the full-time whistle. It is another massive defeat. 5-0 to Chelsea. When we took control of this job, we knew that it was going to be one of the hardest tasks in world football. But keeping Luton Town up in the Premier League might be tougher than I expected. We have jumped out of that game against Chelsea to see almost 3 million more pounds added to the transfer budget as we sell Gabriel Osho to Club Bruges. And we're also saying goodbye to James Shea. This is the time in the year to experiment. I'm going to a counter-attacking vision because when I think to my own game, that's where I thrive the most. I do well when I am on the counter-attack, so... We need, we're going to have to probably rearrange some of our staff, but let's try building our team out to work in that way. But here we are on transfer deadline day. 21 million pounds in the budget. Will we be able to make Jota a player at Luton Town? We're going to have to find out in episode number two. If you guys want episode number two tomorrow, make sure you go absolutely crazy on the like button and I'll get it up for you guys. But lads, if you enjoyed today's episode of the Luton Town Career Mode, make sure you click here to subscribe and click here to watch another video.